Hello everybody and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Hope you're all doing well. Um, right, we've got three bandits. Let's see what I can do here. Let's knock him out and kill him if I can, quickly. That's one dead. Okay, money. Can I get the other dude as well now? Can I kill the other dude before even he realises what's going on? And there's only one. Nothing, mate. Nothing. Nothing at all, mate. That two, then. Run away! Okay, so I've killed one. Uh, where can I take this guy? Where can I take this other man? Horsey! That's it, Horsey. And again. And he's just stuffed behind me quickly, Horsey. Quick, 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 quick. Ah, what's this? Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go, 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 quick. Where is he? Where is he? There's my horse. There's the. There he is. There's the man. I have one left. I can kill him. Can I get him to chase me onto this finger and I can kill him there? Yo, mate, come back. Come here. Come on. You're in the wrong place at the wrong yeah, come on, then. Come and get me. Horsey, come on. Living. He's just standing there. Where's my bow? I see, get my bow out. Nearly going from here. Go on, I see. Walk, walk, walk there. Walk there. Dude, come back. Come back. Is he gonna come? Hello. Well now. Come on, be your axe. Yeah, come on. Why is he not coming? Does he know? Does he know I'll kill him on here? I'll just shoot him from here. Hey, who's there? What's that? I'm gonna shoot him and run. I'm gonna shoot him and run off. Cause I'm crazy. Oh, nearly got him from there. Come on. Come on, you idiot. If I just run off and what if I just hit him and run? I'm here, mate. Well now. That's it. That's it, come on, chase me, chase me, chase me, chase me, chase me, chase me. Or we'll fight up here. Come on, I'm here. Come fight me, I'm here. I'm here, come on, fight. You're not gonna fight me from there. That's it, come on. That's it, dude, come on.
It's all right, because I'm going to hide as well. I'm going to enjoy this. Go on then, from here. Get him again. Oh, not me. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? I see, get there. I'll shoot you from above your head. I'll slaughter you. Yeah, well, I'm going to shoot you from above. Because I'm evil. That's right, because I'm going to be an evil person and shoot you like this. Oh, you're better Bring die, mate. On. Bring it on, you're better die, mate. You ain't got you can't really do anything from up there, can you? If you get a pee, you can, you you're great. No, I'm not gonna give up, I'm gonna keep trying to shoot you from here if I can, if you've got it missing. I don't know why it's me it's going through him. Why is it going through the dude? Oh, is it spa oh no. It, the game's caught on to what I was doing. Clever game. Clever game. You call that combat? Off his head. No, I call it being sneaky because I know I can beat you all. But I got you in the face. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? I have to be sneaky with my fighting because I'm not to the level yet. But I'm once once I'm up to scratch, I'll fight every one of you. You've got weak at the knees, have you? No, I'm no, I haven't got weak at the knees. I'm just standing here shooting at you because I can. I got no more. I've got no more torches, but I don't need any. I can use my sword now. On. Killed him. Ha 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 ha, you're dead. Loot. I love that. That. That's what the money. Oh, I can sell that. And that. I can sell them. Okay, let's go and have a look up there. There shouldn't be any bandits left because I've killed them all. How is this still a How is this still a bandit? I killed them all. I killed all the bandits. I killed the bandits. How is there one left? I killed him. I killed all of them. Alarm! I killed every bloody bandit. How is one still alive after I killed them all? I killed all of you people. How are you still here? How are they still alive? Like, I've killed them all. I'm going to have to run off and I and fetch some help or summit. I'm going to have to find help. This is ridiculous. I killed them all and still one's alive. Get off me, mate! Where am I at? Run off! Where's my horse? I need to get on you quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, don't throw me on the floor, you idiot. Quick, get on, get on, quick, run off. Yeah. You ain't gonna kill me, mate. I'm getting out of here. I'm not stupid. I gotta go back to Sir Divish and see what the hell's going on, man. Unless I can find out. I killed... There was three bandits there. I killed three bandits. How did one appear? Okay, they're just gonna keep appearing. Oh, this is crazy. Lost in the woods. What's the qu what? So, if he's told me to send his locator, I promised I'd go there and see if I could find him. Okay, obviously. I can't find him, he's dead. So, I've got to see if I can find this surveyor. He's not there, he's dead. He's obviously dead. 
So what the hell I'm meant to do? He's not there. This surveyor is dead. Yeah. He is dead as a doormat. Where is this surveyor then? Is he dead? He's got to be dead in there. There's no way he's still alive. Okay, yeah, I've got to search the entire area for him. I see one bandit left. Let's see if I can find the body. What else can I get from him? Cheap wine. That's where I killed one of the big, one of the guys. Can I get him to come over here and I kill him as well? <sighs> Jeez, man, this is crazy. So it's just screwed me, really, hasn't it? This game, it has actually screwed me. I could sleep, maybe. I've got to find this surveyor. He's going to be dead, isn't he? He's definitely going to be dead. I could sleep and save. Let's sleep and save. Because I've only got one guy left, haven't I? Let's do this. Comfort. To get my nourishment and energy back up. And my health, maybe? My health be up? Health's gone up to 70. I can't need my health up a bit more than that. 74. Okay, that'll do. 74. It's gone up a little bit. If I knew I was safer, I'd I'd sleep longer, but I don't trust... Do not trust what this guy can do. And there could be more bandits for all I know. I need to find the surveyor, but I don't know where he is. He's got to be dead. Where is the surveyor? Okay, so it's definitely I've got to just search the entire air, the entire camp. Ah, damn it! Right down here. Nothing in there. Okay, that's just a dodgy pit, pit of water. Where are you, surveyor? Are you dead? He you dead? Is you dead? Are you murdered? Where is your body? Where is his body? If he's dead, where's his body? And if he's been imprisoned, where is he? He's not he's not there. There's one person over there. I just don't know why that one person keeps coming back. I killed three people. How did he spawn? And where did he spawn from? Where's his surveyor?
Where is the surveyor? What have the people done? Do 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 do. Nice echo. I can't climb up there. Through there. Hey. It's a shame we can't sleep up there. That's the safest place. He's not going to search up there on his own, is he? If I can get his attention, I can bring him up here and shoot him from above, maybe. What's up this ladder? There's only one left, though, isn't there? So I could possibly. I'm not going to be able to fight and kill him. Okay, what have we got here? Let's have a look. Skills. I ain't leveled up for a while. Speech. Can't speak to anybody. Now, what equipment we got? My sidekicks. What's my horse got? An axe. A dagger. Move into Tory. Maybe I could use that to stab him. I could assassinate him, couldn't I? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe I could assassinate him. That'd be a good one if I assassinate him. Hmm. Might work. Okay. Um. Up and stab him. Maybe I can kill him. There's only one but one man on his own. If he sits down, I'm going to attack him. Go sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. He's sitting over the wrong one, isn't he? Damn you, mate. Thing. Can't get over that way. Damn. What's going on there? I think. I think, dude, I'm just walking around. Don't worry about me, mate. Can I sneak around him? What's going on there? Nothing, stay there. Stay where you are, mate, stay where you are. What's he doing? Having a while. Peace. The answer to my prayer. I was going to try and sneak you, mate. Clever man sitting where he was. Yeah, very clever, mate. Very clever, doing what you did. Oh, come get your sword. Look. Stop. Stop. Get him! He's stuck behind the pole. Oh, we can get him. I'm over here! And again, stab him! Come on! Damn it! Damn it! It's alright, we saved though, we saved, remember. It's saved. So, what we can do. 
He's attacking from there. If I can sneak behind him, I will get him. If I can choke him or not. I need to be very patient. I can kill him. I can kill this man. And I thought I was just going to come here and start the DLC, you know. I thought I'd just come here and start rebuilding the town. Now I've got to kill more people. More bloodies on my hands. Right, I'm going to sleep a bit longer. Can we sleep longer? Yeah. Let's sleep longer. More health. There we go. And if he gets to sleep, I'll kill him. He's got to be up there, isn't he? Can I kill him? Oh, no, 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 no. Where's he going to go and sit? If he sits, if he sits that one, I'll kill him. If he sits on this one, oh, it's going to be difficult to get him. Go sit there. No, of course you're going to sit on that one. Of course you are, you jerk. You big jerk. Fucking weather. Fucking tent. Fucking camp. I've had enough of this shit. Hey. Well now. Look what's come. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, this is difficult. Yeah, I ain't gonna beat this guy, man. He's difficult, ain't he? I'll slaughter you. Oh yeah, I stabbed you twice. Okay, I got two stabs, and that's what I wanted. Two, three. Oh. I got you this time. And again, come on, and again, come on, and again, stop, 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 and again, stop him again. Oh, you damn you, mate. He's got a blunt weapon, though, he's got a heavy weapon that can just club me to death. Got him. Yes. Killed him. Boom. Boom. Common shield. Take, take. Take his money. Oh. Killed him. Oh. Eat from pot. Oh, that was, that was worth it. Killed him. Now what though? Where's this guy I'm looking for? I've killed all the bandits. They did. What now? Oh look. Being held captive. Hi Marius. We've just killed everybody for you mate. I saved your ass. I'm a hero. 
Thank you. My pleasure. Sir Divish sent me to find you. And it looks like I arrived just in time. God's truth. I'm Henry of Scalix. My name is Marius Bielek, Master Locator. Sir Divish sent me here to survey the area. Well, the outlaws are out of the way, so we can go and report to him, right? Not just yet. Those bastards caught me as soon as I arrived. And so far, all I've seen is the inside of the tent they tied me up in. I still have a job to do. Although, I won't see much in the dark. I'll have to spend the night. Though I doubt I'll get a wink of sleep after what happened. Are you sure there are no more bandits around? You've nothing to worry about. Unless you're afraid of hares. Hmm. Well, come to me after dawn and we'll look the place over together. I'll explain everything to you. All right. Wonderful. Good night. Yeah, good night, mate. Let's go to sleep. Let's go and get our health back. Did a really good job there. Let's sleep. Mother of God. I've already slept already. <laughs> so I could just sit here and wait, couldn't I? Let's wait until morning. We've done a good job there. Oh, it was a battle. Where's he gone? Where is he? Right, I've got to take some of these. I've got to give some of these to the. And uh, move the horse. I'm going to move that to horse for now as well. Move to horse. Move the horse. Apply to that. Apply. Can't actually apply that. He's down here, isn't he? Oh, he's waiting for us. Need to move more to the horse. Oh, Dave. Here I am. Here I am. Excellent. We can start inspecting the area right away to see what can be built where. Shall we get to it then? Go with Marius. I'll escort you then. At least I can make sure you don't get caught again. What? Are there more of those bandits around? No, no. I, j I just meant. Never mind. Should we get going? See what he has to say.
A nice location for a town. We could make it nice. This is a good spot for the rat house. Every village must have one. It'll be nice and prominent here. It's on the hillside, so the foundations will stay dry. It can have its own little square, close to the church. There's no better site here. The church is still standing. Good. Good. Whoever built it did a good job. Considering how old it is and what it's been through recently, it stood up well. It won't be an easy job to fix it, but it can be done. Timber alone won't do, though. Is he going? What are you going to build here, mate? Hmm. We could fit at least one tradesman's shop here. Maybe a baker's? There's quite a lot of space here. It just needs clearing thoroughly. Then we could even fit stables here. Approach road and stream. This bridge needs reinforcing. It won't last long in this condition. I reckon it would make sense to build a weir over the stream down there. The water here is clean and can be used to supply the village until we sink a well. It's a good thing we have this stream. No point in building without a water source. Supplies and trade will flow through here.
I can't even see past the trees and ruins whether there's room for anything there. But at least the trees are strong and healthy. All we need is a few good woodcutters, and we won't have to bring in any timber from elsewhere. Stone foundations. They'll come in handy, and we're close to the stream. Lots of space here. There's a well here already. All the better. Big space, clean water, close to the village green. A good site for an inn. That's that then. The most essential surveying is done. Hmm. My respects to you, sir. So, Master Locator, ready to start building? There's a long way to go before that. The few ruins that are left are basically beyond repair. It's all overgrown with brush. Oh dear. We'll have to get it all cleared before we can start rebuilding it. So it is possible to rebuild everything? Yes, absolutely. But building a whole village is no small enterprise. Hmm. We'll need timber, lots of it, which isn't a problem in the middle of the woods, of course. We'll have to hire wage labor to begin with. Quite a lot of men. Hmm. Hmm. I think we should get started without delay. There's a lot of work involved, but it'll be well worth the effort. I can just imagine it. The church will dominate the whole settlement. Oh, that's good news. When will you inform Sir Divis? My wait. I'll head to Talmberg right away. But would you keep an eye on things here in the meantime? It would be rather embarrassing to run into more bandits when I return with Sir Divish. No problem. I'll be right here. It shouldn't take us long. My lord, welcome to Pribislavitz. That is to say, welcome back to Previslavitz after all these years. Well, what's left of it? Not to worry, Marius. <sighs> I'm glad to be back in my old hamlet. Although, it seems to have aged about as gracefully as I have over the years. I beg to differ, sir. It's quite dilapidated, unlike your good self. But at least it's safe now. Thanks in part to Henry here who also saved me from a predicament that cost me valuable time. Who knows? If it hadn't been for him, 
we might not even be talking now. Well, uh, in the end, you managed things in your own way, I see. Just as you said you would. I did my best, sir. There was no reasoning with them. They thought since it was four to one, I'd be no trouble. I expect that was a fatal mistake. Just so, sir. No loss. At least they won't be troubling us again. Let's get down to the matter in hand, shall we? What state is Pribislavitz in? Sir, in my official capacity as locator, I am gratified to inform you that the hamlet of Pribislavitz may be renewed. And indeed it offers prospects of considerable expansion beyond its former limits. Splendid. Finally, some good news for this province. I'm badly needed, too. So, what have you discovered so far? I want to know all the details. We had a scout around. We conducted a basic survey, from which we can make a preliminary outline of the parcels. I already have in my head an initial plan of what can be built where. We should certainly have a church. I'd like to preserve the existing one. That should present no serious obstacles. The building is in much better condition than we anticipated. But extensive reconstruction will be required. That's to be expected. But there's a stream here, and a well, right in the middle of the village. Yes, and there are abundant woods around. Clearing them will provide both extra land and timber supplies that we can use right away. Right now, I believe we're standing on the village green, aren't we? The future green, that is. The village centre will comprise at least six large buildings to begin with. We can't fit any more than that here. So there will be other buildings away from the square. In particular, more extensive structures. I'm glad to hear it. I never expected you'd find so much space here in the middle of the woods. The building work we're about to engage in is only the first part of my plan. Later, we'll clear more forests for agricultural land and build more farmhouses. But, for now, we'll have to focus on more sensible goals. As you wish, my lord. But rebuilding a whole village must cost a king's ransom, though. It's true it won't come cheap. Before the tradesmen settle here and start producing and trading, it will be necessary to invest a certain amount of capital. A certain amount? How much, exactly? I wouldn't venture to state a precise amount at this point, but I expect it will come to some thousands, even tens of thousands of Groschen. Well, that much? I hope you're good at haggling. We shall, of course, attempt to procure everything at the best possible price, but raising a settlement from the ashes you see around you is a costly business. Nevertheless, I can assure you, my lord, that if all goes well, the investment shall all come back to you with interest. I hope I shall live to enjoy it, Master Marius. A village isn't a village without villagers. You'll need new subjects. Even preparing the ground for a building will need lots of labor. Where can we find so many people, sir? You sound skeptical, lad. But it's a good question. I've already given it some thought. I've agreed with Radzik and Hanish that we shall make an announcement in Rate to invite people to move here and help with the construction, which will bring them many benefits, but also obligations. In addition, I expect the prospects of a new home will appeal to your former Scalitz neighbors more than a makeshift camp by the castle walls. They'll be delighted, sir. A splendid solution, sir. I've also been concerned about how to bring settlers here, but now it seems there will be no shortage of new inhabitants after all. It seems things are finally looking up. We routed the bandits in battle, and Henry took care of the remnants. When can we get to work? Right away, as far as I'm concerned. All we need is people and the necessary funds. And we'll need someone to keep order, at least in the interim. True. I'll leave you some of my men. If I may, I would recommend quickly appointing a bailiff to take responsibility for the renewal of the village, its coffers and its citizens. True. Hmm. 
First things first. Since you understand these matters best, you shall take charge of the land parceling and building works. You'll be available to the bailiff, but answerable directly to me. I'd be honored, sir. Thank you. And, as regards the office of bailiff, what about you, Henry? Yes, sir. You've proven yourself well. You've demonstrated that you're capable of solving problems. And you command the respect of your former Scalit's neighbors. Well, I'm not so sure. And you're also capable of maintaining law and order. I must concur. So, let us expedite matters. Henry, I hereby appoint you to the office of Bailiff of the Hamlet of Pribislavitz in my domain. My lord, it's a great honor. Thank you. You will oversee the initial renewal and administration of the village that will set the ground for further development. <laughs> but don't imagine it'll be a bed of roses, lad. Being bailiff doesn't mean you can do whatever you like. If you don't treat the settlers rightly, I'll soon find out and relieve you of your office. Besides, we can't spare a single groschen from the Talmberg coffers now with the province in chaos. So, you'll have to cover the cost for the building work from your own purse. Me? But Marius said it would cost a fortune. True. But from what I hear, you know how to get your hands on coin enough. So, I expect you'll manage it just fine. <laughs> I'd like to know who's been spreading such gossip. And I am assigning you certain specific tasks. You must ensure the rebuilding of the church. That means complete reconstruction, wall paintings, and a new altar. See to it that in the future, the village will be capable of supporting a certain number of people. For that, you will need to ensure the construction of essential artisans' buildings. And ultimately, the village must produce sufficient earnings to fund further expansion. But, sir, I've never done... I understand your concerns, but you'll be handsomely rewarded. I shall grant you the proceeds from the whole village for the first five years. And you have my permission to use the surrounding woods and land as you see fit. Well, that's, um... I mean... Are you sure I'm the right man for the job, sir? It's a lot of responsibility. As you said yourself, Henry, it's a great honor. Besides, you won't be alone in it. I'll assist you and supervise the construction work. Phew. All right, then. So, we're agreed. You'll give this document to the Rete Bailiff. He'll make the announcement to invite settlers, which should ensure enough people to begin work. At the same time, your official appointment as bailiff will be announced. I don't know what to say, sir. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, Henry. And now I must get back to my duties at Townburg. Send word when everything is prepared. Certainly, sir. Have a safe journey. Farewell, sir. Okay, crazy. So I'm a bailiff. This is my town now. I gotta go find people to live in it. Okay, I'm gonna finish this video here. And in the next one, we're gonna go and take the letter to the bailiff and start building the place. Anyway. Till next time guys, take care.